Hi everyone, welcome back to our video series on the Grossman model for, of demand for health. In this video, we're gonna work through the model in continuous time, let's go. So the Grossman model in continuous time is still the Grossman model where we have a consumer maximizing his lifetime discounted utilities, uh, where he's going and picking a health state and a consumption bundle at each moment in time, subject to his budget constraint, right? Which we're going to write as R, which is, you know, all of our consumer's income. And he can go and allocate that in accordance to an investment, according to consumption of other goods. And there's also a price he has to go and pay for time he is sick. Um, we also have our usual law of motion of health, just this time it's with reference to a continuous time version. And we have our time constraint here where we just go and abstract from all the other terms here and we just have uh, health time and time lost here. And uh, healthy time is produced by going and consuming health capital. Now, this makes things a lot easier for us, right? As in before you saw a lot more constraints and a lot more uh, storytelling, but we're gonna see how quickly we're able to go and solve this. We're gonna follow three steps, right? So step number one is that we're gonna simplify our model so that health capital becomes our choice of variable as opposed to health status. Um, we're gonna go and write a little Lagrangian and then we're gonna to appeal to the Euler-Lagrange equation and we're gonna rearrange. That's how we're gonna go and get our equilibrium concept here. So step number one is that we're gonna simplify our model uh, so much so we make health capital becoming a choice variable. So you want to see as many H's in there as possible. So that just comes from rearranging our time constraint and our law of motion. So we just reshuffled what our util our consumer's problem is going to be. Um, next, we're going to go and write down Lagrangian, which we go and we have here. And this is a really convenient uh, form here. I mean, because I guess uh, it's explicit uh, right here, because then we can go and appeal to the Euler-Lagrange equation, which is a property of most optimal control problems, which is one we are working through right now. Now, the Euler-Lagrange equation, really, you know, just to go and deviate for a second, it basically just says that once we're at an optimum, we are unable to go and deviate from that. And if we were to go and deviate from that optimum, right, in the next instant, any possible gains that would be made would be completely eliminated. That's what we go and we say from this equation here. So. We're going to go and just, you know, plug and chug these numbers here. And if we rearrange this expression, we get our analogous equilibrium concept, which is the same for what we had in our discrete case. So you see that solving this model in continuous time, right, is a lot more convenient. So really the lesson to be learned here is that we could make our lives as easy and as hard as we want, really depending a lot on the time horizon here. So I just wanted to go and show you how we can go and have a much more uh, you know, coherent framework for going and discussing the Grossman model. I hope this video helps. I will see you guys in the next one where we work through comparative statics in this model. Take care.